Namaste. Um, I don't know if anybody's out there, but I'm pouring myself a glass of wine because I've had a very crazy week. And, um, I'm stressed out of my mind, to tell you the truth. Hey, whatever works. My last live, um, I was getting ready to open, to do the second unboxing. Sorry about the bags. I just took off my makeup. But is it really off? I did a terrible job. Anyway. Um, there's one person here. <laughs> Who is that nice one person? Anyway. I just want to show you the, the nice things that, um, Judy Bullock gave me. Um, and I want to explain something to you guys. Me too. Trying to be quiet. Trying to be freaking quiet. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Anyway. I just put the dishwasher on. And... Watching Bravo. And let me just get see if I can get the cork back in this bottle. What is this bottle? This bottle I throw out. Is anybody here? Okay. Anyway. Yeah, so what happened was my freaking phone overheated like it used to do and I guess it was almost on I did plug it in hi Lori Smith this is Lori Smith um thank you for coming I'm just gonna put this in the other room I promise you I won't be I won't That was way too close. That was way too close. I know. Be right there. Hi. Sorry about the fat face. <laughs> but it's my the only face I have. Anyway, um guys, can you hear me? I'm talking a little bit slow uh lower because uh, I don't want to wake up Devin or disturb him. You can hear me. Okay. Hi VM. Lori, you're going? Where are you going? You going? You're leaving? Okay. Well, I don't know why I wanted to just jump on as a live. Um, sorry about my shirt. I know you saw the shirt already. But um, I'm having like hot sweats and apparently I'm going in menopause again. I already had menopause. Post post menopause, but you know when I get stressed out, and um, worried, and just a lot of stuff going on, and I'm very nervous about traveling, and I don't want to be nervous about traveling. And I'm trying to tap into what my mother has it for me, instruction wise. Okay, so. Let me just focus my AD friggin ADD mind and tell you guys, this is what Judy gave me. 
Judy Bullock, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Felia B., for your beautiful gift. Thank you, Tracy Del Hotte, for your card. And um, now, let's do Judy. Okay, let's do Judy justice. Cheers, everybody. Drink it if you got it. And I don't always have it. But I went, I went to the store and I got it. Okay, anyhow. Here we go. It was so friggin' beautiful of Miss Judy. And unexpected. I had no idea she sent this to me. Okay. Let me show you. Okay, first of all, she got me this beautiful white sage candle. The oil is all seeing off his spiritual protection. I need that. Check, please. Shielding from negativity and harm. Oh boy, do we need that. Okay. All right, so this is beautiful, Judy. I love it. I friggin' need this candle. I need this candle really bad, and I don't understand how you knew that, but you did. And I am going to, I would light it if I wasn't so friggin' lame, but let, let me show you what else. Let me show everybody, anybody who cares, anybody who's here. She also gave me this, and this is an incense holder, right? And hidden here is all searching eye, all seeing eye. It would be nice if I could read, okay? The all seeing eye offers spiritual protection, shielding you from negativity and harm. Here it is, white sage, which I wish you could smell this. It smells really great, but I'm not going to light it right now because my husband is having trouble with breathing. And when I light stuff, it, it makes it worse, but I will, I will be lighting that. And I thank you so much. Also, Judy Bulla gave me this beautiful cr crystal, but I don't know what crystal it is. I have to look it up. If you could tell me, Judy, I would appreciate it. It is gorgeous. Look at this gorgeous. Look at how gorgeous it is. Let me put it against the pink background. See that? It looks like... I will look it up tomorrow. I will look it up because I don't want to uh, get the echo all, you know, up in here. Um... But anyhow, Judy, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love white sage. You know that. I'm always burning it. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart chakra to the tip of my crown chakra. I appreciate the crystal, the candle, and all the incense. I appreciate that so much. I might bring the incense with me on the trip. I might bring it on the trip. Um, Hank Gibbs wasn't trying to troll on his question. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't agree with, uh, kids being in school as a teacher, as an educator, and also as a parent. I don't agree with kids going to school and then getting in a van and being transitioned without the parent's permission. Um, that's all I want to say on that. Okay, because I'm trying to keep it light. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um, you know, go happily into dreamland, which I never do. I never do. And I'm trying not to take um, my regular medicine because I'm going to run out of it on my trip. And that scares me. Um, so I have uh, something called Resub... Resinol, resinol. Let's go see what it's called. But thank you again, Judy. I, I sincerely appreciate it. Here it is. It's called Relaxium. 
I don't know if anybody has taken it. It's called um, Relaxium. I did try it once. It says fall asleep fast. That didn't happen. Um, stay asleep longer and wake up refreshed. And it's all natural. Okay. <sighs> didn't work the last time I used it. And I had to take my regular medicine because I really wanted to sleep. But tonight, I probably won't take my regular medicine because I'm trying to save it. And anyhow, that's just my life as an insomniac. And even with medication. But anyway, we, we all have this. We all have God watching over us and all the angels. And for the longest time, I was forgetting to put my necklace on. We got Archangel Michael. And we have loads of protection. But thank you, Judy. I appreciate that. What I was trying to tell everybody um, earlier in my in my uh, car and then my phone overheated and it was you know um, Tracy told me that the video was going and I just realized now I thought it turned off and I just realized now when I went to go on it says do you want to continue live streaming and add to your other one or do you want to end it and start a new one. And I was like, oh my God, I don't, see, I don't understand how it doesn't turn off. And I don't think my video was over an hour long. I think it was only like 40 minutes and then it cut off. But for some reason, it's reading that I was doing a video for an hour. I don't know what can you agree is yeah okay so I already answered that uh, I'm not gonna really go into that because I'm not that's not what this live stream is about um, we're keeping it light okay this is um, a psychic channel and also just a hangout channel right now this evening keeping it very very light okay so what I was trying to say is if you have a psych feel like you have a psychic ability or you want to develop your psychic abilities a little bit more and you care about these kids that are going missing or the people that are going missing what I wanted to do is and I don't know when I could start it because I'm about to leave go away for a while it's not that I won't be able to come on especially in New York I'll be able to um, do videos and live streams but um, there's a lot of stuff going on so um, what I wanted to suggest is like me and my sisters my you know um, soul sisters we always collab on cases and say what we think about it and concentrate I want to take it to the next level say we're thinking about Sebastian right Sebastian Rogers missing Tennessee uh, teenager 15 years old right and I play some meditation music we say a prayer and then I bring us into a little bit of a meditation everybody close their eyes so you can keep your eyes open and we make sure that we have a pen and paper in front of us and we just write down what we get after we do a little meditation we write down what we get I'll try to bring you into you know Sebastian or whoever we're looking for summer whatever it is it's just a suggestion I wanted to know what the mystic Brady Bunch thought of that okay I thought it was a good idea it came in my head and I was like I should try to help people develop their psychic abilities because everybody has psychic abilities to a certain point. It's a matter of if you utilize them, if you try to meditate, if you try to pray to ask your spirit guides to help you. Um, and it's, it's really a muscle. You know, your third eye is like muscle. 
any muscle, other muscle in your body, the more you utilize it, the stronger it gets. So I was thinking it was a good idea to try to see if more people want to try to get involved with putting our heads together, putting our third eyes together, and seeing if we could, you know, find some of these missing people and especially children. You know, um, I have a very soft spot in my heart for the for the children but and other people too I've worked on all kinds of cases anyhow that's what I was trying to say in the last video if you follow me that's what I was trying to say and it got cut off and I want to thank Judy for these beautiful um, gifts and a flyer B and uh, Tracy so I'm not sure. What are we talking about? Okay. All right. I'm not going to make it long, guys. Cheers. Yeah, 17 minutes in. All right, so tomorrow, I, I didn't pack tonight. Um, we were supposed to pack, but I, I just was, you know, when you shot, um, my sister who's in the hospital, it's been like we're waiting for her to get her out of the hospital, bring her to my other sister's house. So going from like New Jersey to Staten Island, so New Jersey to New York, but you know, if she has an infection or she has a fever or um, different things, um, then she won't be able to leave the hospital. If a platelets are, are wrong, if a blood work is incorrect. Um, so anyhow, she was looking like she was getting better. Um, my Today was my sister, my other sister. I have a lot of sisters and a brother. Um, my sister Karen's birthday. So happy birthday, Aries. Happy birthday, Karen. Um, now, is it past 12? Yeah, it's probably past 12. So it was yesterday. Um, but anyhow, so my sister Christine was looking better, but then... Um, when we called her, me and Devin called her at the hospital in the afternoon, late afternoon, she was like, I can't talk right now because I don't feel well and I'm getting a blood transfusion. And I was like, why, Christine, why are you getting a blood transfusion? And she said, because my platelets were low or something about a platelets of blood. Okay, so she's also getting chemo. She's undergoing chemo so that taking out the pick and putting in a port and uh, I don't really understand all of the lingo and you know the jargon but um yeah so I'd appreciate prayers up I told her that we're still praying for her I have a candle that burnt down all the way to the bottom um but now I have all these other candles so I'm so happy um but please keep the prayers up for my sister Christine um, when you hear blood transfusion, at least when I hear blood transfusion, I ve get very scared. And, um, you know, so I'm just worried. And, of course, it's normal to be worried and it's scary. Uh, and I, I'm actually scared out of my mind. So I'm drinking Cabernet Sauvignon. And it's uh, aged in a in a, a barrel, like a whiskey barrel. I'll show you the bottle because I want to go into the living room anyway. Um, yeah. So tomorrow is all about packing and all about going for my facial and my back shot. Let me show you the bottle. It's Beringer Brothers, Bourbon Barrel, Cabernet Sauvignon. I, 
It is very good. What I like about it is it's very dry. I don't like sweet. I don't like sweet things. Um, no, I like, I like sweet things like, you know, candies and cookies. I mean, look at the size of me. <laughs> of course, I like candies and cookies, but in terms of wine, in terms of any, any kind of wine or champagne, I like dry, very dry, not sweet. Okay. Um, and Cabernet Sauvignon, that kind is very dry. It's very nice. Sounds expensive? It it is expensive. I mean I consider it expensive. Um it is seventeen ninety nine a bottle. But it's okay because I usually only drink it I go you know, sometimes I can have that one bottle for two weeks on a good week, on a good stint, on a bad stint, just one week. But yeah, yeah, I bought that and I, I usually buy a thousand stories, but I didn't see it today. So I bought another thing that was made in a, a barrel that was very dry as well. But the, that's, the price was $17.99, and that was on sale. Um, but that's how much it is, but it's worth it if, it, if you really like wine. If, if you really like um, a very dry wine, I think it's worth it. Yeah, so I, I have been trying to stay away from the cases, but I'm still watching it. I'm still, you know, we found out that Sebastian, Sebastian Rogers, the missing 15 year old boy, that teenage boy that um, is on the autistic spectrum, um, that he was essayed he was abused by a 13 year old boy that visited their house and stayed over and he was only eight years old so in a way his life changed at eight now the father Seth is coming out and saying like more stuff that's kind of like you know putting it out there because at first I'm like why is he acting so nice to Seth the stepfather and to you know his ex-wife because, you know, this kid went missing on her watch and she just seems very sus to me and so does Chris. And he has a whole bunch of domestic violence in his history. So anyhow, now all of a sudden, Seth is talking about, you know, that he doesn't think Katie, his ex-wife, um, watched Seth enough, paid attention to him enough, um, you know, protected him enough, and he's pissed, and um, I think because he's getting the realization is maybe Seth, Sebastian is not coming back, but you know, there's always hope, there's always some kind of miracle could happen, it just doesn't look good right now. Hi, hi, Race. How are you? Uh, yeah, I don't like whiskey, though. I've tried whiskey. I don't like whiskey. My daughter likes whiskey. Um, no, me, I, I won't drink gin. I won't drink whiskey. Because when I was 16, I had either gin or whiskey and I got so violently ill that and I'm 60 now 60 and I won't touch it I have to I, I'm careful with what I put in my body even though you know some stuff is not good for you but I needed my glass of wine This is probably the only one I'll have. It's just one. I know that's a big glass, but just one.
race, you're not the, you're not the race that does our lawn, are you? Let me know. Greetings, BG from South Africa. South Africa in the house. Welcome. That's another thing, uh, another case that I'm really upset about is from South Africa, um, Saldana, um, beautiful Jocelyn Smith. I was trying to talk to her the other day because she hasn't been found yet. And a lot of people are saying that she's inside and I feel like she's outside. Um, yeah, and I think the mother and the boyfriend still there's more information that they can give and supposedly the mother is pregnant the one that's in jail they found out that she's pregnant allegedly we don't know 100 percent, but they say that she is i'm still working on that like behind the scenes because all this is going on um so sometimes i don't have enough time to meditate on it so sometimes I just ask God a question or I ask my spirit guides and then I'll get like her face. She has green eyes and um, she's so beautiful. And she was right in front of me, Jocelyn Smith. She was right in front of me. She was like looking at me kind of like this. Look, looking up at me. And I'm like, where can we find you, sweetheart? Where are you? And it's it's hard with kids because they don't know where they are. They don't like they might be old. They not they never give you an address. They usually give you the situation that happened to them, but they don't give you an address because they don't really know. Like with Summer, they she could just tell you what's around her surroundings. Thank you, BG. I appreciate that. You get a bad rap because you have a stay-at-home wife. There's, no, there's no, nothing bad about that. That's a beautiful thing. If you have a stay at, you are a stay-at-home wife, or you have a stay-at-home wife. That's a beautiful thing. Somebody has to be with the kids. Somebody has to run the house. And, you know, if you could do it with one salary, then more power to you. That's a beautiful thing. Kids need to know there's somebody there. It's, it takes a lot to raise kids. Especially in the, hey, Crazy Eight, how you doing? You're on vacation, right? Are you on vacay? I just came on because I I got cut off earlier today, and I wanted I wanted to open the present from Judy, and I also wanted to finish my thought about trying to help everybody with their psychic abilities. You pay the bills while she raises the kids. That's a good setup. I used to do that when my kids were little too. Yeah. Thank you. I'm I'm glad to be on. I I was really nervous and upset because my sister had a blood transfusion and I gotta travel tomorrow four o'clock in the morning. Um but I feel better now. Jesus juice. Some Jesus juice. Sometimes you need some Jesus juice. Jesus said so. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the best, their reaction when you get home and they run to you or they say, hey, how you doing? Or they missed you. That's the best. That Those moments, you got to... You gotta memorize those moments and keep them in your heart forever. Keep them in your mind forever. 
My kids are long grown, but I know that feeling. That's a beautiful feeling. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Prayers up for Christine. Christine Brady. She's part of the Brady Bunch. I can't wait to see her. Wherever she's at, if she's at the hospital, I'll go to the hospital. If she's back at Staten Island, I'll go to Staten Island and I'll give her a big hug from everybody. Yeah, Crazy Eight has a channel. It's called Inspirational Tarot Talk. So everybody go check that out. She does readings. She does um, card of the week. She has a lot of sage. Palo Santo. I, that's right. That reminds me. I got to pack my Palo Santo. I got to definitely bring Palo Santo with me. Even after it's dark. Even what after it's dark. He says, good morning, Daddy. Yeah. We only have nine in the house. What is everybody sleeping? <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, let me get my fan. I brought my dogs in. I always bring my dogs in at night to like cuddle with them. And Casper's been acting. Hold on a second, guys. This is crazy. I'm sorry, guys. Um. Yeah, my big dog Casper has been acting really strange. I just needed to fan myself for a minute, a moment. Yeah, so Casper's been acting really strange. Like last night and tonight, he just gets up off the couch and he goes into his own room. Like he doesn't want to stay in here. And like the little guy, um, Snoopy will lay on the couch like uh, on the top of the couch like he's a cat because I'm pretty sure he was with a cat um, when he before we adopted him he's a rescue and but Casper I think he knows that I'm gonna be gone so he wants to get used to not coming in because Devin goes to bed early but it, I told him you gotta you gotta stay up late enough to let the dogs out for the last run and you know make sure that you're spending more time with them because they're gonna be really depressed because I'm gonna be gone a month so that's on my mind too and I'm like very guilty about that but you know what I have a family in New York I have a family in New Jersey I have to see my own kids um, I have a best friend in Pennsylvania, and I'm going to Ireland and that should be a happy time but I'm just so worried about my sister that you know like I cry four times a day and sometimes twice at night but what are we gonna do what can you do it's life life is there's life and there's death. All of us are going to die. All of us. I was having this conversation with my other sister, Susan. All of us are on borrowed time. We don't know. Tomorrow's not promised. So like, you know, like Crazy Eight always says, be kind. Just be kind to everybody. Just be kind to yourself, but also be kind to other people. Because even if they're mean to you, or even if they're just, they don't get you, or they're just not respectful, be kind because we don't know if it's the last conversation we're having, the last time we're gonna look at them eye to eye, the last time we're going to 
spend some time with them. We know we just don't know because tomorrow's not promised. So if we treat everybody and it's hard to do it. It's hard to do it because you know, I get my Irish up. Sometimes my Irish comes up and um but anyhow, generally I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. But you know, there are things that you get upset about. Anyhow, what I wanted to say is act as if God told you, you're not going to see that person again. So how would you want to leave it with them? How would you want to have your last meeting with them? If I'm going to tell you, you're not going to see them again. Okay. There's been plenty of times in my life that I didn't see somebody. I, I, I would have like teachers, All right. for example, teachers, because I'm a teacher, right? I worked in a lot of schools in my life and somebody would come by my classroom whatever and I'm there for like a lot of times you know or I work there you know and I see them and then they come in they say hi and I think to myself they leave and I say I'm never gonna see them again it's just a gift <laughs> it's a gift I have it's just the thing I have and dark on it I never see them again okay and I'm not laughing to be a jokester and to, you know, because it's a serious subject, but that it, they don't, they're not, they don't die. It's just that I just never see them again. We don't rock with each other again. And um, my point being, do I have a point? My point is that I just know Everything is tomorrow's not promised, okay? Like, I, I was starting to think, am I really going on this trip that I've been worried about and stressing out about? And I got all these suitcases, and, you know, I, Devin's going to help me pack because I just put everything in a bowl, um, and he's real organized with it. Anyhow, because um, it's a two-tripper. It's... I'll be I'll be in three airports by the end of Friday Saturday Saturday I'll be in three different airports that's a lot okay anyway I'll take it back I'm gonna take the energy back God is with me Archangel Michael's with me um, St. Christopher's with me I don't know why I thought of St. Christopher um, but anyhow, let me see what anybody's saying. Eleven in the house. Hey, eleven. Angel number. We are all human, yes. I think about going live, but I would get banned immediately. Are you, do you ha have a YouTube, Hank? I never saw, are you a Mystic Brady Bunch, uh, sub? Because I never saw you before. So welcome. But are you a YouTuber? Wash your hands a lot. Yeah. I have airborne. I have balance of nature. Um, but yeah, I will wash my hands a lot. Because I'm going to be in different countries. You're on YouTube right now. Okay. I mean, do you have a channel? Do you have a channel that you do videos? Airports. No, I never posted a video. Oh, okay. I, I misunderstood you. Yeah, I never thought I would do it. I, I moved from New York after living in New York for my whole life. I was happy to live there. I was born there, I wanted to die there, okay? Uh, but then, you know, life happens and I, my second, our second marriage, both of us, you know, it's our second marriage and we realize that New York is really expensive and really stressful. So we moved on to Texas in 2015. Um, and what I found out was there wasn't any friends for me. 
um, and I prayed for friends. I went to work. I worked in all these different schools. I tried to get a full-time job in the schools. Um, I couldn't. Uh, you know, I was like a runner-up, but I was like, you know, I put a time limit on it because, you know, I'm not young. You know, I'm ready to smooth on into retirement. But anyhow, I work as part-time. But then what happened was being lonely, I started doing like little videos on Facebook and all of a sudden I started to channel with um, Shanann from Shanann Watts, um, who's in, in heaven. And she was like, you got to do it. You got to have a YouTube channel, girl. And I was like, I wouldn't even understand what button to push, how to do any of that. I'm lucky I could do Facebook. And she was like, no, you're going to do it and I'll help you. And so I watched some other guy that used to do tarot readings. Well, he still does. His name is Rich Lop. And he described how to, like, what buttons to push. And I didn't think I would figure it out. And I asked God, and I asked Shinhan, and that's how I got my YouTube channel. I had, like, six subs for a long time, just six, right? And I was excited about those six subs. I was like, you're watching me? You're my first sub. <laughs> and it went from there. And that was July 26, 2019. That's how long I've been rocking the Mystic Brady Bunch. I'm most certainly going. Thank you, Crazy Eight. Yeah. If I do, it would be you and your wife. That would be nice. My husband comes on sometimes, but he doesn't like to. He doesn't like me to show him. He gets shy. But every once in a while, he's in the background sometimes, talking and. He has his own following. Trust me, I have, I have to tell some people to calm down. On Facebook, he's he's more popular than me on Facebook. He's got loads of people on Facebook. Aww, um, how you got yours? Thank you, Crazy Eight. I appreciate that. When I get home from work, even if it's to work. Yeah, so um, I told you guys that I'm getting a facial and a back shawl. <laughs> when I got when I got a back um a back facial in Bahamas, when I first got divorced, well, two years into being divorced, I went on two trips. I took my son, um to the Bahamas for six days and then to England for 13 days, right? So those two trips. And I did invite my daughter, but my daughter didn't come. Why didn't she come? Well, she had to work. She's old, she was older than my son. Um, but anyhow, um, so when I went to the Bahamas with my son, so he was, let's see, 17. He was probably 19 at the time, 18, 19, right? And so I was walking on the beach and there was a hut. And in the hut, a lot of times he would leave me, like he would just go off and lay on a, a hammock and read his book. Or he'd go play basketball, he'd go on the rock wall. Um, yeah, he was like, I would go to the club every night because I'm like, I'm going to take advantage of this hotel room and you go down to the club and they're playing Bob Marley music. My son wasn't into that. So a lot of times during the day he would leave me. But one day he stayed with me and I was, I, so I had to make use of my time alone. So I would walk to this hut 
and get a facial or a massage. And it was on the beach. The beach was white sand. The water was aqua blue. Then there was always Bob Marley music playing in the background, steel drums, blue drinks were for free. Um, did they have alcohol in them? They had the ones that were alcohol free that my son would get. And then the ones that had alcohol that I would get. Okay, because my son won't drink. He has never drank because he doesn't want to be like his, quote, mother and father. Okay. And I just laugh at that, and I say, good for you. All right, so anyhow, um, so one day he he present, he present was walking me towards the hut, and he was going to go off on the beach and just what, read his book, and I was going into the hut to get another facial or massage or back, fa back facial. So <laughs> this Bahamian woman goes oh lady i think she called me lady um lady my lady you did good mama you did good and i was like what and she goes your boyfriend's so much younger than you <laughs> so i was like i think i was only like 49 50 um yeah I got remarried and I was 52. Oh, so maybe I was like 48, 49, something like that. And I was like, no, that's not my boyfriend. That's my son. And she was like, yeah, right, mama. He's very handsome and young. <laughs> it gets so weird. And I was like trying to convince her. I was like, no, that's not my boyfriend. That's my son. That's my baby. <laughs> I just I never forgot that. And then my son was all embarrassed. His face was red and he was like, now I'm not going to stay with you even more. <laughs> and I could never find him. I was like, come down to the piano bar with me. There's a piano bar. It's so nice. Just sit at the bar for a little while. And he's like, absolutely not. I'm going to be sleeping. <laughs> I was like, okay, thanks. But anyhow, it was still a nice trip. It was still a beautiful trip. Okay, let me see. Okay, so psychic abilities, can we support Biden, especially what you're saying? Uh, no, we don't, we don't do really politics on this channel. People wouldn't like what her, my politics. I don't do wine. I do it. Okay. I think I'm behind in the chat. Okay. All right, guys. Anybody have anything closing to say? Crazy 80, you going to do anything interesting on your vacation or just chill? Anybody else watch Vanderpump Rules? I find it very relaxing, even though it's crazy drama. It's called Vanderpump Rules. I watch it. I watch everything on Bravo. Almost everything. 13 in the house. Give me a thumbs up if you can. If you want to. I don't even care anymore. I really don't. It is what it is. the fire thing means. Okay. Yeah, so basically I'm just chilling with one glass of wine. I took that medicine, um, the... Relaxium. 
it helped me to relax a little bit, but um, do you see me sleeping? I don't see me sleeping. So, my eyes do feel a little bit heavy. Oh, this is what we gotta do. We gotta put our night cream on. Here's the night cream that I use. It's called Midnight. See it? Let's put our night cream on, guys. Hold on. Hold up. This is a really good cream if you want the name of a cream that's really good for you. So rich. Bethany Frankel uses it. That's how I found it. Smells so good. I have to remember to bring this with me. I have very dry skin. Dry like an alligator. So you gotta hydrate. I don't drink enough water. I don't drink enough water. Sorry about the age spot. It's the size of Texas. It used to be the size of New York. Now that I'm in Texas, it's the size of Texas. It used to be like a little tiny spot, a little bit long. Now it's big and fat like Texas. <laughs> Is anybody here? People are watching, but they're not talking. And then I end up talking to myself. Okay, let's take a cleansing breath. How about that? Yeah, I know my skin looks oily now, but this is so rich. If you are dry like an alligator like me, you need this cream. Men and women can wear it use it men and women see I didn't put that much over here on my eyes because I really didn't clean the makeup off correctly but that's okay as long as I got here I got my crow's feet my mother used to always say you're allowed to have laugh lines so when you smile it's okay if you have laugh lines but I was only like eight years old nine years old and she used to make my sister Karen put this pink tape on her wrinkles, on her lines, on her forehead. And we, we would do it too when we were little kids. And we would say, why, why do you, you know, why, why can't you have those? And she would say, those are frown lines. So don't go like this. Like, I'm going to try to do frown lines. I, my head doesn't really do it. I, don't, I didn't get Botox. But my head doesn't do it because my mother would always discourage frown lines. Okay? But you're allowed to have left lines, she said. You earn them. Okay? <laughs> she said this. She said it. And she would put Naxima all over her face. Um, sometimes she would sleep with it. And then she said it dried it out a little bit, so towards the end. I don't remember her using regular cream, but she had it. Uh, sometimes Vaseline. Um, and she had beautiful skin. 
But she died when she was only 53, so, you know, most 53-year-olds don't have that many lines, but she had beautiful, beautiful skin. And just three left lines here, three left lines here. So she taught me a lot in my 19 years. She taught me a lot. I have to give her that. Thanks, Mom. Miss you every day. She said, don't be a baby. <laughs> I love you too, but don't be a baby, Kathleen. Okay. I always am a baby. I'm always a baby. Always going to be a baby. said mom go to bed <laughs> j-o-c-r mom go to bed i am gonna go to bed chris h hi hi chris h this is like the nighttime crew i don't recognize some of the nighttime crew hello and good morning You know, I often said, I wish I could be a normal sleeper. I remember being like um, 11 years old. No, not even 11. Six years old and being so tired at school because I, I was awake and I would hear every step, like my father coming home late, him going into the bathroom, coming up the stairs. I would count the stairs. Him going in the bathroom and taking this huge, like, 35-second piss <laughs> that, because he was coming from the bar. And then I would always pray, please let him go back down the stairs and not down the hallway to our bedroom, our pink bedroom. Because he would want to sleep with us. You know, like, just because if he came home drunk... My mother said he had to sleep on the couch and she would lock her door, the bedroom door downstairs. So anyhow, I was awake for that. Nobody else was awake. And I always wished, I didn't understand that, like I just never went into a sleep. It's a bad sleep disorder. It is, it's real bad sleep disorder. And frankly, I'm tired from having this disorder. It comes with me everywhere I go. Like, I don't remember having peaceful sleep anywhere. When I was pregnant, of course, but the two times I was pregnant um, with my kids, I remember being tired and actually really wanting to sleep. Um, and basically, you know, being able to sleep then... Because you need your sleep when you're pregnant. So, I don't know. I'm just talking about nothing. Insomniac. Insomnia talk. Put put a, a, a one in the chat if you have insomnia or you ever had insomnia in your life. It's terrible. Because it's like everybody else just like, like my husband says... Well, I read books, and that helps me. And I go and lay in bed, no matter what. He goes in, takes his shower, and he lays in bed, and he reads his books, right? And then he goes to sleep. But sometimes he wakes up. Sometimes both of us are awake, and we can't go back to sleep. And a lot of times I have to go to work, and I'm awake at 4, and I just lay there, you know. But he says... You got to get yourself into a schedule. And TV is a stimulant. But me, TV helps me to relax. Like, I feel like, you know, like with the show, silly shows that I watch, like this show right here. Yeah, that's Vanderpump Rules. I like that show. But, like, 
where I'm going, I don't know if I'm going to have access to a TV. <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh my God, my routines are going to be changed. Is anybody saying anything? Oh, let's see. Did everybody go to sleep? Did I put everybody to sleep? I've been told that I have a nice, relaxing voice, and I put everybody to sleep. They watch my show to go to sleep. <laughs> and I say, that's good. I'm glad. If I can give somebody peace, I'm glad about it. I'm not mad about it. I'm glad about it. I took sleeping meds three hours ago. I'm glad I'm not the only one that took... I took the Relaxium, but I think I'm going to have to take my regular meds because I really need to get some sleep because the night that I'm going on the plane, which is tomorrow, okay, I probably won't take my sleep meds because I have to be cognizant. I'm going to be all by myself at three airports. The one that's the hardest is Dallas. That is so big. You got to go on the sky elevator. You got to know where you're going. And so I probably won't take my sleep meds. And I don't take Xanax anymore. I used to, when I flew, I used to take a Xanax. I don't do that anymore. That was since 2016. Yeah, 2016. Don't take that anymore or any of those things. Judy Bullock, you were here? Judy Bullock, thank you so much. Thank you for the beautiful crystal. Tell me what crystal that is, um, if you can. Thank you for the sage candle. It's gorgeous. It's not beautiful. It's gorgeous. And I sincerely appreciate the beautiful gift that you gave me, the incense. I'm, I'm probably late in the chat. Hi, M C K Mick. Hi Mick. Hi Elizabeth. Yes, I'm gonna do chats when I'm out of town. Anything I could do, I will do. I I usually do videos a lot, but I will try to do the um lives. Just pop on when I'm in New York and also Ireland. Going to Ireland, Dublin, Limerick. Oh, Sebastian Case, any thoughts on the Sebastian Case? Two days of massive search and nothing. Brenda Hines, your name is Tara? Hi, Brenda Hines. Hi, Tara. Um, yeah, I'm all over the Sebastian Case. I'm watching everything. I'm meditating. And it's really a sadness I could tell you, I still feel like he's, anytime I try to tap in, I hear it's just like Gannon. So I still feel like he's been moved over by a bridge and I felt like he was closer to Memphis. Um, at first they were trying to make it look like, and when I say they, I'm not making any allegations this is allegedly and in my opinion but they were trying to make it look like he left the house on his own he's trying to run away he didn't do that I said from day one that he was carried out of that house into the garage into the car he might have still been awake uh, alive he might have still been alive and then Chris helped him, alleg uh, Chris helped her, Katie, allegedly. Um, they don't act like they're looking because they're not looking because they already know. Will they find them? Well, Tennessee, I don't have that much faith in them. I don't have that much faith. Look at Summer. Anywhere else? Texas, I would say yes. Tennessee, but there's always hope. I hope they find them. Um, I, I couldn't go, like go very 
deeply into him because I'm, you know, worried about my sister and I couldn't concentrate on anything. But I always have all the cases very close to my heart. How you doing, Brenda? I just made you do your your uh, night cream, Crazy Eight. Well, you're young. You're young and beautiful still, so you probably don't need that much. But it's always good to take care of your skin when you're young so that you can have good skin when you're older. That's how it goes. Especially people of the Irish descent or the Scottish descent. Because if you have fair skin, you got to watch it even more. That's why I have bangs. Because I want to cover up this uh, Alaska sign over here. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I always ask God, I say, God, just teach me what I'm supposed to do in terms of my family. How can I be a better sister? How can I be a better friend? How can I be a better wife? Um, I think I'm okay with that. And that, you know, Devin's not happy that I'm going away for a month. Because um, his birthday is on Earth Day. But I told him, he said, I said, hey, dude, I've been with you for 14 of your birthdays. Now I got to be with my family and my kids. Because my son has given me a beautiful gift. And that first he gave me a trip to Aruba as a gift. Now he's given me on my bucket list. On my bucket list is Ireland. I think when I get off the plane, I'm going to kiss the ground. Of Dublin. I think I'm going to kiss it. I kissed the ground in Bahamas. Me and my sister Patricia when I was 19. After my mother died. We went to the Bahamas. On a you know. A just like off the cuff trip. Like just like. I don't know. She was very good at like. Just putting a trip together. And it was just a quick you know. Trip four days. And I just started a new job. In a preschool. It's called Alphabet Land. And I had to ask my boss. And he was like, why didn't you tell me that your mother died? You would have gotten five days off. How did you do like the funeral and the wake and all that? And I was like, oh, I was afraid to tell you because I thought I'd get fired. Because I just started this job because I was only 19. I didn't know. And, you know, like when she was in the hospital and stuff. I was like, oh, yeah, my mother's in the hospital, but I could still work, and I still worked, and I never took off, and he was like, why didn't you tell me? You would have definitely got off, and so I was like, I, I thought I would lose the job, and I didn't want to lose this job, so anyhow, I was dumb, young, young and dumb, but anyway, we went to the Bahamas, we got off the plane, and... The plane was so bumpy and stuff. I think that was the first time I was on a plane. Yeah, it was. And I got, we got off this rickety plane. And I went down the stairs with my sister. And she was like, what are you doing? And I went down on the ground. I kissed the ground. I think she got the picture. We had the throwaway cameras. This was 1983. June 1983. And I think she took the picture of me kissing the ground. And I tell you, I will be kissing that ground in Dublin. I'm not gonna kiss the ground in New York. Let's not get crazy, okay? That, that ground be dirty. <laughs> that ground be very dirty. I might come back up with gum stuck to my mouth. A rat over here. <laughs> A roach over here. <laughs> No, don't don't say that. That's mean. I'm not going to put down New York because I love New York. Crazy Eight's from New York, too. She's upstate New York. My grandfather, my mother's father, 
she used to always call him daddy. And I was like, why do you call him daddy? Why do you call your mother mama? And, uh, and I remember being a little kid and she would say, my grandmother was over and she was from England originally. She moved to Brooklyn, New York when she was three. And um, my mother would call my grandmother, mama. And, oh, mama, look at this. Oh, mama, look at that. And I would say, stop calling her mama. And she would say, but she's my mother. And I would say, no, I don't want you to call her that. I don't know why I was a brat. That's what you would, my grandmother would call me a brazen brat. I remember that. It's embedded in my head. She would say, Pat, she's a brat. She's a brazen brat. And I would say, don't call her mama. You're my mommy. But don't call her mama. <laughs> the things you do. Right? The things you do when you're young. I was only four. Okay. Sebastian may even have a broken bone. Yeah, I heard that. I didn't feel that hot on it, but I heard that on somebody's channel with the spirit box. So that is my daughter. New York is far left. I'm in Texas right now. <laughs> I live in Texas now, but I'm from New York. That's where my heart is. I'm thinking Sebastian might have a broken bone. I think I read that. Hi, Lickety Splits. I don't know if you're still here. Okay, guys. I love you all. I think I'm going to go. I'm going to try to wind down. <laughs> I don't see this carcass really falling asleep, but I really got to get some sleep. Um, and I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow, maybe. Um, but tomorrow is packing day, and it's literally the last day that I have. Um, unless, unless anybody has anything else, you're still up. Nathaniel Campus says... We, can we pray Diddy away? What does that mean? Diddy go. Diddy done. Like Nancy Grace said, Diddy done. And I wanted to do, um, if you're talking about P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, um, he's a bad dude, allegedly, Okay. But yes, okay. But I'm too afraid to do a video on him. But you know what? The truth is, you know what? What's in the darkness comes to light. Even the stuff that happened this summer, Moon, Utah Wells, okay? I still think if that freaking sheriff get what his name is, Ronnie Lawson, Ronnie Lawson, right? If he gets out and somebody do comes in, I think there's a hope, there's a chance that we can get this straightened out. But, you know, there's a big problem. There's a big problem in Tennessee. <sighs> All these children going missing. Anyhow, um, schedule doesn't work and your mind doesn't shut up yeah you know what you know what's pretty good um what's his name hank you know what's pretty good helps me a lot jason stevenson music you put in jason stevenson um sleep music and just play it like in your earphone um when you're trying to sleep and it'll just, if anything, it'll put you into a, a peaceful state so that you can think good thoughts. Another good thing that I've tried is green noise. 
green noise is very good, especially if I have an ADD brain. Never diagnosed with it. Never diagnosed, never on um, that medication that people used to take for ADD. Um, I forget what it's called, but I never took that, was never diagnosed. I self-diagnosed myself um, because I've had loads of kids, hundreds of kids in my career. And they, I was like, oh, they remind me of me. Um, and that I recognize what it is. I've studied what it is. But anyhow, your mind can't shut off. It's like, oh, I got this bill to pay, or am I going to make the mortgage or the rent? Am I going to be able to deal with those co-workers at work? Am I going to be able to deal with my ex? Um, hey, what's that lump? You know, um, uh, do my kids hate me? You know, does my family hate me? Does my friend hate me? Uh, why did this person stop talking to me? Um, why did this person ghost me? Um, you know, all all those things are up here, you know. And I've tried counting sheep, praying, um, counting numbers, uh, all of that stuff. And I never could do it. What worked for me is if I had a little transistor radio. Now... Those of you youngsters out there, you won't know what a transistor is. Transistor radio was the old school, and you would put it under your pillow and listen to it all night. And your mother would say, you not, you shouldn't be doing that because that's keeping you awake. But my mother used to listen to the radio all night too because that helped. You know, She wouldn't take a pill. She wouldn't even take a Tylenol. She wouldn't take an Advil. We never even had Advil in the house. Um, yeah, she was a strong, strong woman. I can't even be, I can't be like how strong she was. But anyhow. I'm just trying to read what people have said. I think I'm a little bit behind. I never took Xan, just crushed them. I hope they find them. Yeah, me too. Good. Tara is my spiritual name after a hill. After the hill of Tara in Ireland. Oh, really? The hill of... I'm going to have to research that. I'm going to definitely research that. I'm not going to... Like, I feel like sad that I'm not going to be in Ireland that many days because, like, me, my son, and my daughter. My daughter is, she has, like, several jobs because she lives in Staten Island, New York, and her rent is expensive. And um, so, you know, she has to get back. Um, but I think we're only going to be in Ireland for eight days. I wanted to stay, like, 10 to 13 because when you go to Europe, um, you know, you should stay, you should stay, like, at least 10 days. And we're not. But, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. Just, you know, go with it. I'm happy and grateful that he's able to have this trip for us. I'm very grateful for it. That's a beautiful spiritual name, um, Tara. I like Tara. Yeah, I hope I can sleep too. I don't, like, I'm taking the relinquium or whatever it's called. I showed you, you guys the bottle, and they advertise it all over TV. And I'm not even sleeping. I'm not sleepy. I mean, my eyes were tired before, but now they're not. So, and like, even if I take my Ambien, that does not guarantee me that I'll fall asleep either. So, it's sad. It's sad. Like, one thing that does help me a lot, but I'm drinking wine right now, um, is a chamomile tea with a teaspoon of cinnamon. 
chamomile tea that has valerian root in it and you put a teaspoon of cinnamon i'll be bringing cinnamon with me on my trip that does help that helps and it's very good for your digestion it's very good for your sugar level like you know cinnamon in general is very good so i will say that that does help but i might put on some music um, like green noise in the background, um, that will help me. The cases don't help me. So that's why I'm trying to like stay a little bit away. You know, like I love you, Sebastian. I love you, Summer. I love you, all the kids and Dylan Rounds, all the people that are missing. I love them and I want to help them, but I gotta, you gotta bring your own oxygen mask down. You like my nails? I know I showed them to you before. Did I show you my toes? No, this is an OnlyFans thing. But I got them blue. I don't know if you can see them. Was that a walk word? I I'm too, I'm too out there. I gotta protect myself. Okay, but how about that cream? That cream is nice, right? Even though I have this big age spot, the cream is really doing good. So if anybody's looking for a good cream, this does, it does work. It's called Midnight Cream, and make sure you put it on your neck, your decolletage, in an upward motion, even though I have several double double chins does matter I have good skin okay <laughs> now I'm just being a, a biatch <laughs> okay all right you guys put in a one I forget what I asked you about for the one that's how behind I am in the chat. Yeah, your mind doesn't shut up. It's 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 terrible. But like, you know what? Take three deep breaths. Okay? Cleansing breaths. Let's do it together. Right? I used to start out every video with this. Okay? We're going to take a breath in the nose. We're going to hold it for five. And we're going to blow it out in five intervals. On the fifth one, empty the lungs. One, two, three, a little bit, four, five, empty. Again, in through the nose, hold it in your chest this time for ten. Let it out. Now empty. One more time. Like you're blowing out a birthday cake candle. <sighs> you're blowing out all the toxic energy and all the bad thoughts that you had in your mind or all the bad things that you heard in your ears. <sighs> and now you say, I am good. I am kind. I'm okay. I am safe. I am good, I am kind, I am okay, and I am safe. God is with me, Jesus is with me, and my spirit guides and angels watch over me 24-7, 365. I love you all. Namaste.